Okay, so hi guys and welcome back. In this video we built a 200mm X-Frame quad blade racer and go out and maiden it. We also crash it hard during the maiden thanks to, well, yeah, me. <laughs> As always, a complete shopping list with all used parts is in the video description. Click show more below the video to see it. Let's get started. This is our frame, the Red Boss 200 size frame for 5 inch props. Build quality is pretty good on this. I could not notice any noticeable flex in the arms. It's also pretty lightweight. The bare frame is only 74 grams when put together. Here are some detailed images of the bare frame. It features a typical X frame built up in the middle. For motors, we use the AOK Fly 2205-2300 kV motors. Those are really awesome. Very, very smooth running motors and they got plenty of power as you will see. I'm also pretty impressed by their build quality. So these are definitely one of the best uh, motors which I ever had in hands. Really, really nice. As a flight controller, we got a cheap F3 based flight controller here, which does actually look quite nicely manufactured once you get rid of the cheap back hatching around it, <laughs> as you can see in these detail shots. Unfortunately, it has a little surprise to it, which we will come to a bit later. <laughs> As a PDP we use a new one by Diatone which comes with an integrated LC filter, which is quite nice and actually works great, given its low price. Video is totally clear with it, so that's awesome. As an ESC we use the little b 20 a 4 in 1 ESC, which you can see here. I always wanted to try it, since it makes building it much easier and, and also cleaner. Sure, it has its disadvantage. Once one of the ESCs blows, you can you have to buy a complete new one. But since the little bees are known to be quite reliable, I have great hopes in that. So far it's also working great. So on top of this we have our F3 flight controller, which you can already see connected here. Buzzer is on the bottom right, RC in on the left, voltage in is also on the left, and on the bottom I have already soldered the ASC wires. Here we can see the complete setup including the Runcam Aero FPV camera and the cheap EA Shine video transmitter which has been working great for me. You can also see how easy it is to connect the motors thanks to the 4-in-1 ESC. So that's definitely a real benefit of it. And yes, as promised, here comes the surprise regarding the flight controller which I promised you before. On this one, the buzzer connector is actually soldered wrong. So to get the buzzer working, you actually need to solder the wires on the bottom directly, as you can see here. Easy once you, you, once you know that you have to do it, but quite a pain if you don't. <laughs> For mounting the VTX on top of the flight controller, I printed myself one of my infamous easy stacking plates, <laughs> which enables me to mount the VTX nicely. Almost ready now. We just mount the run cam arrow and screw in the top plate, which also has a nice action camera mount as you can see here. Here you can see some more detailed photos of the almost finalized quad. And here it is, with, the, with those sweet dull quad plates attached. It looks really nice, I love it. <laughs> Those look really sweet and give a great punch, even on 3S. So yes, we tried first on 3S and you will see that even on 3S that has plenty of power, which is awesome. The FreeSky receiver, which you can see here, is a lightweight FreeSky compatible receiver by K-Servo, which I have been using in many of my newer builds. It's cheap and it works great. Link is in the video description as for all other things which I mention here. Total weight of this frame without the LiPo is below 300 grams, which is pretty awesome for a 5 inch copter. 
I really like the build them light, so this fits in very well. But now, let's continue the fun. It's time for the Maiden. Maiden was awesome. I maidened it with 3S and even with that, that thing has plenty of power. Enjoy the Maiden and make sure to watch till the end for a nice crash. So this is the part, so now I got adventurous and wanted to try a real slow flip, of course uh, resulting in a real fast crash. <laughs> Surprisingly it even kept flying a bit longer, yes I could have just disarmed it here, but hey, as I said I felt adventurous, <laughs> finally resulting in a more or less controlled crash near the trees. <laughs> Man, that was a ride. <laughs> Result? Just a few bro broken props. That frame and equipment can sure take a beating. So, my conclusion? Well, love it. <laughs> awesome copter and I can't wait to fly it again. Hope you liked it and if you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.